I wanted to build an ant to go with my ant eating echidna, but I couldn't find a shape I was happy with. So I decided to make him out of letters A and T. The letters are made out of 1.8mm sheet steel, and I've just freehand drawn the letters. And it's only a matter of moments to cut out the letters. I've only cut out one side. You'll see why later. I'm tacking the sheet between the letter T at the moment. And I'm putting an extra bit of weld just in the corner because I, I want to be able to bend the steel up. And so if I just run the torch over it, it bends very easily to move around the shape of the letter. With the sheet tacked in place, I'll then just go back and weld right round the seam. Again, this is good welding practice. That results in something unique. Here are the front part of the letters finished. Now I have to do the backs. Because I'm not super accurate with how I bent the steel around the letters, I found it's easier just to trace around the bottom of the letters to get the letters for the back so that they fit rather than try to make them fit. With the back of the letters cut out, it's again it's just a simple matter of tacking the, uh, the letter in place and then going back and welding right around the seam. Here are the letters finished and welded in place for the body of the ant and I've started welding up the legs as well. Here's the finished product. He's got his legs on, his eyes, his antenna and I've put a little bit of red here and there just to bling him up a little bit and then covered him with clear lacquer. And here he is with his little mate, the echidna. But as the echidna is an anteater, they may not be mates for much longer.